and welcome to On the Line. I'm your host, Daniel King, and today my guest is Heather Von Brockage. Heather. Hi, Daniel. Hello. Great to be here. Yes, welcome. It's, it's good to finally have you on the show. Oh, thank you. Because I think this is probably episode 15 or so. Oh, wow. So, yeah, I didn't realize that. We've had quite a few people sit in, wow. sit in that seat. So it's good to have Very you. Very nice. <clears throat> um, you know how this goes. You've yeah. seen this before. I so have. we're going to jump right in, all right? Okay. Okay. Great. So how long have you worked at Safety Marking, and how did you come to work here? I believe it's been 13 years, or very close to it, and um, I was a stay-at-home mom with my four kids for 14 years approximately, and I put my, decided to, I needed a job, put my resume together, and posted it on Monster. Just, you know, like, figured I out how to do it. Monster. Really wasn't that adept at doing that, but, right. and I think literally the next day somebody called me, a headhunter, and she said she saw my resume on Monster and she thought that maybe this would be a good fit for me, mm -hmm. safety marking. Great. So, Monster. I remember Monster. Yeah. 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 That was one of I the know. first places I really pushed my resume out to. Right. Good so. for you. Um, what's something most people don't know about you? Is there a hobby or a hidden talent or something spectacular that <laughs> you don't really often share? Um, well, one is that I drove a UPS truck in Manhattan. I, I worked for UPS for about eight or nine years, and that was to... one of the things that I did while I worked there. I worked in Manhattan. I saw those UPS drivers yeah. in Manhattan. Wow. It's crazy. That's impressive. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I also um, gave my stem cells to a woman that I never met before because she was suffering from some sort of cancer, wow. leukemia. And Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, it was cool. But, you you know, you can do it, too. It takes, like, two seconds to um, become part of that uh, that website um, where they take a swab from mm -hmm. you. It's um, Be The Match, it's called. Be Anybody can do it, and who knows? You could save somebody's life. You hear that? Be The Match, and you could help save someone's life. Yes, yes. Excellent. Um, who or what inspires you? Uh, probably my father, um, who passed away uh, close to 22 years ago now. He uh, just was a hard worker, would do anything for his family. To, you know, typically growing up worked two jobs. You know, just a great guy. Mm. Too bad that he's not here anymore. Yeah. I miss him every day. But great memories. Yes. Good. Yep. Do you have a favorite word? Give um, us a word you love. A word that I love, probably love, you know, always tell my kids I love them, mm. you know. Um, um, do you have a least favorite word? Stupid. Oh, yeah. You know, I, yeah. when my kids laugh because growing up, when they were little, we weren't allowed to say stupid in the house. Now, of course, you know, it probably gets said occasionally, but it's kind of mean. You know? What do you think is your biggest accomplishment to date? Uh, probably my four children, mm. you know. Um, I think my husband and I did a pretty good job of raising four uh, great kids or young adults who are, you know, loving, caring, successful, contributing members to society. Wow. In your opinion, what is the one skill every employee should have? Um, I think uh, empathy. If you can recall, what do you think is the best bit of advice you've ever been given? Um, probably from my father, I would say, or uh, I don't know if directly given, but a lesson I learned from him was, you know, don't be afraid of hard work. How do you like to spend your time when you're not at work? Um, I like to walk. I like to go to the beach, mm. walk on the beach, um, reading, relaxing. Mm. Yeah. Um, I like to organize things at home. I like to think that I'm organized. I don't know if everybody in my family would agree. I know where everything is, but I like to organize and get rid of stuff. You ready for some rapid fire? Sure. All right. Beach or mountains? Beach. Dinner out or dinner at home with a movie? Uh, both, but usually the latter. Actor or comedian you enjoy? Um, I like Sebastian Maniscalco. I think he's pretty funny. Comedian, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
and I like, I'm currently watching Narcos, and I love the um, actor that plays Javi. Your favorite lunch? Usually leftovers from home, okay. you know, or salad. Who would have made those leftovers? Probably me. Yeah. <laughs> Depends. Window or aisle seat? Usually window. Um, a place you would love to return to? Um, Italy, uh, Bermuda. I was in Bermuda last year and um, beautiful. It's Saturday morning. What are you doing? Usually errands. Parents, you know, around. just getting some stuff done, or or maybe trying to take a walk, squeeze a walk in, squeeze you know, walk in. something like that. Around those areas, or sitting at the yacht yard with my mother, yeah, a cup of coffee. You Good, know, it just depends. Breathing in the air, yeah, yeah, exactly. Cats or dogs? Cats or both, but we have neither right now. We have a fish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One item from your bucket list. Um, to see more of the U.S. Yeah. So, There's so many great places. Well, on that note, we'll wish you luck in your travels. And <laughs> we hope you. that you get somewhere that's beautiful and that you can enjoy. And once again, thank you for your time. Thank you for Because we know you're me. busy over there in oh. operations. Oh, yeah. So definitely. we greatly appreciate it. And to you, we'll see you again right here on the line.